as photographers, there's a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes of a photo shoot that not a lot of people know about. But they're going to know today because you guys confessed them to me and I'm going to be reading some of the best confessions that I got. I'm not texting any of your clients right now. They're not upset. Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm a fashion and portrait photographer in Detroit. I shoot things like weddings. I've done portrait photo shoots, family pictures. I've done pretty much everything. So I'm just going to be reacting to these, giving you guys my opinion, like what I think, all that fancy stuff. So let's get started. I deleted some clients' pictures on purpose because I didn't like them. <laughs> That's so messed up. Wait, you didn't like the clients or you didn't like the pictures? Either way, you shouldn't have done that. It's okay, I'm not gonna do I don't even know who this is anymore. <laughs> it's been like a month, man. You're off the hook, okay? No one's gonna find out. Raging when someone uses the ugliest filter on a photo that I color edited for so long. You got a crying face and you got a laughing face, which kind of describes both the emotions that you go through when you see somebody slap an Instagram filter on a picture you worked on for 10 hours minimum. No one's gonna book you after seeing that. Remove, make sure to remove that tag. Don't cancel on me the day of the shoot. Listen, you should never even got into photography then. <laughs> you know, that's the number one thing that happens to us. We get canceled on. When you sign up for photography, it's like, okay, how many times would you like to be canceled on? I've accidentally shot a family photo shoot at 12,800 ISO during daytime. You might as well just redo the photo shoot because you know those pictures are coming out like straight up all white. If I were you, I would have done what the first guy did and just delete everything. Be like, yeah, I lost it. Like a pigeon came in, swooped in, flew away with it. I wonder what your client said when they saw the pictures. <laughs> That's kind of like a universal photo shoot. You really could use that for everybody. Here's your family photo shoot. It's like a completely different person because it's like so overexposed. That could work. You're onto something here. I sent a client's girlfriend screenshots of when he tried to holla because he refused to pay me. This one's just straight savage. Like, you're not playing games here. I would hate to be this guy. A lot of times we're undercharging. Like, how much did this guy not pay? $25? You know what? You deserve it, okay? <laughs> like, say I was this guy. Why would I go and hit up the photographer and then make her angry by not paying her? I love how you just don't care. You're just like, okay, you don't want to pay me $25? Let me just ruin your life. I got chased down by a squirrel one time for trying to take a picture of it. <laughs> that shit's scary. I'm a, I'm a fan of squirrels. So, squirrels are really busy. You ever see them like just sitting down? They're always running up trees. They're always collecting acorns, stealing people's food, going through garbage. Like they have things to do. So like, show them a little bit of respect. You know what I mean? Like let them, they don't, maybe they don't want to be photographed. Okay, so I was at a shoot at a pond and they had a bridge. So I told my model to sit on it and they fell in. Male photographers getting clout for posting half-naked women enrages me to my core. I've definitely cried because I thought my camera was broken but the battery wasn't in. That's the first, you should check that the first thing, that's the first thing you should check. When people tag everyone in the picture but the person who took the picture, which is you. That is a mood. I'm not ready to be a part of the photography police just yet, so if people don't tag me, I usually, I usually don't say anything, I'm just like, whatever, you know? But I know for people starting out, that is important, so I told, I understand why you'd be annoyed, like, I would be annoyed too, like, it, does, it takes like two seconds to just add a credit or a tag, so, um, definitely understand, but for me, I just don't even, like, is it even worth it to say anything at this point, like, say a couple prayers and you just keep going, or report the picture to Facebook, <laughs> get it taken down. I'm just joking, don't do that. Pretending I'm taking a break while Googling how to use equipment at the shoot. <laughs> I ghosted a client because she started offering me escape room vouchers as payment. You know, I wouldn't even mind the escape room vouchers if I could actually escape from the escape room. Every time I go into one of those things, I just end up there for like two hours, you know, fumbling around. I end up, we just end up figuratively dying. The guy who owns the place just like opens the door really disappointed and he's like okay it's done i'm sure whoever was watching us in the security camera really wanted to go home early that day there's no action there if a model goes to me and doesn't show up she's cut from any future shoots i peed in the bushes during a shoot i had to go and forgot the model's things were there <laughs> it's actually terrible <laughs> that is so terrible you couldn't find any other bush to pee in there was just the one, really? I wanna like know a full story on this, like a blueprint, crime scene pictures. I need to know the details of this, like the scope of the everything. We really need like a detailed dossier about uh, this event that occurred. Like can the items be recovered after that? Like 
couple washes, but no. Hate when my intricate photos get no traction, but then a half ass selfie skyrockets. A bride wanted a full refund because her eyelashes were crooked. I got a new number. You did the right thing, okay? Why just stop at the new number? You should have just like moved out of the country. <laughs> I'm not sure why people think that is our responsibility. We're simply taking the pictures. We're not stylists. We can't, you know, pay attention to things like eyelash, fake eyelashes, hair extensions, things like that. We're too focused on the actual photography taking place. So while we do want to help style you the best we can and tell you if something's out of place, we really do have to focus on our job first, which is the photography. And I don't think that, why would she want a full refund because of her eyelashes? You should have gotten a refund for the person who put your eyelashes in, okay? Why, do, why does everyone go after the photographer? It's like we're responsible for everything. Like something goes wrong, I want a refund. Drove an hour to shoot and realized my brother had taken my camera out of my bag. I purposely left giant pimples on a bride's face because she was rushing me for photos. <laughs> it's kind of messed up. <laughs> Sometimes when shooting boring events, I hide in the bathroom as long as possible. I wish I could do that, but I always fear that people will notice that I'm gone for a long period of time and then like they'll start questioning like where I was and it'll make me look bad and it'll make me look unprofessional. So I try to avoid the bathroom. Even though it's, it's a nice place to go, take a break. It's a nice atmosphere in there. I packed all my gear ready to go shoot. Perfect lighting, amazing location. Forgot my SD cards. How many times has this happened to everybody? A model and I got lost in the woods taking pictures. We had to call the police. I've gone camping to try astrophotography just to fall asleep through the night. <laughs> Literally me. I'm about to go fall asleep right now actually. I'm about to go take a nap. Guy stood in front of me at a shoot so I got a picture of him blowing his nose and his balding head. <laughs> Put all those pictures in the gallery so then the bride and groom are going through the pictures like what the heck who's blowing their nose at my wedding the bride and groom get prints of this guy like blowing his nose i don't know I, c I could see that happening i don't i've never done something like that though my memory card fell into the ocean <laughs> so many questions right now okay but anyways while i was coming back after a shoot in a speedboat that and titanic are probably what some of the reasons why i don't <laughs> won't go on like a boat so every friend ever we should go take pictures i'm not your instagram content creator <laughs> tell them sis i forget my camera when i go to family gatherings last time they had one for me though you just like show up so happy you're like yeah i outsmarted them yeah like you know aunt stacy haha -ha, like jokes on you i'm gonna like sit and actually enjoy my time like the rest of you guys they have like five backup cameras for you like when you show up so if you just happen to break the first one, they're like, oh, it's okay. actually Aunt Jenny got you another one because she knows how clumsy you are. And then you just like cry on the inside because that's all you can do really. And then you, obviously you take the pictures. Come on, like the people are waiting. Booked mm -hmm. family of five portrait showed up to a family reunion. Also, the mom was late. Did they have barbecue though? Once I edited the client's pictures so bad because I didn't want them to contact me ever again. A model brought her mom to a naked photo shoot. I felt so uncomfortable the whole time. I've never done a photo shoot like that and it's not my type of photography, but if that were the case with me, you know very well that the, it's gonna turn into like an Eskimo photo shoot. Like we're doing, we're modeling winter clothes. She's wearing like 10 layers at least. When she asks me to help take a photo of her and then she directs me what to do and what not to do. <laughs> then just take your own pictures, Allie. Don't ask us for help, okay? We're, we're struggling. Get a tripod. If a client is rude, they definitely wait more and get less pictures. Sorry, not sorry. I photoshopped the bride's mom out of a family picture because she was rude to me. Imagine 50 years from now, like your kids' kids are looking at like your family pictures and they're like, where's grandma? You're gonna have to answer to that. Canceled three hours before the photo shoot saying their cousin came to visit and she will be taking the photos. When I sent retouched photos to a model and she asked if I'm going to retouch them. Put this at the top, top, top of the list of things that just make me cringe and just die inside. When I work so hard on pictures and I send them to a client and they're like, oh, um, are these retouched? And this actually happens more than you think. It's a terrible feeling because you know that they're finished it's like what more can you do you already retouch them like they're gonna look this i can't do any more than this so it's just an uncomfortable awkward 
frustrating situation because you don't really know where to go from there. My ex asked for portraits I took to use on Bumble, so I liquefied an extra 20 pounds on that so much. Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed those confessions. Do you have any favorites? Did any of them actually shock you? Because I think if you're like a regular photographer, probably you're just like, yeah. It happened to me three times actually yesterday, so it doesn't really phase us. Uh, these things do happen. Just another day in the life of a photographer, I mean. Nothing uh, to see here because none, none of that stuff surprised me. I'm like, yeah, oh, fine. No, totally normal. Totally normal. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I would love to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.